The Royal Observatory in Edinburgh has been on the Blackford Hill site since 1896. The Royal Observatory is a leading force in UK and worldwide astronomy, although the telescopes on site are no longer used. Now, astronomers are given access to the ever-expanding astronomical data resources via the Virtual Observatory. The overall aim of the Virtual Observatory is to take archives of observations um, and make them accessible to users. So every observation that's ever been conducted in astronomy uh, can be stored in a database in such a way that um, in the future anybody can access it. Astronomers have to learn a different way of doing things each time they come up with a new telescope. You could have, you know, 15, 20 different data sets an astronomer is interested and they've got to learn 15 and 20 different ways of doing things. It's inefficient. Whereas the virtual observatory, the idea is to get standards produced that everyone implements so that the astronomer learns one way of doing things and that way they can see all the different data and interact with it on a much simpler and easier level. Dr. Ross Collins is a software developer for the Wide Field Astronomy Unit. He is part of the team developing the Science Archive to store the survey data taken by the Wide Field Camera Instrument installed on the UK Infrared Telescope in Hawaii. Every night of the year, presently, uh, the UK Infrared Telescope in Hawaii is making observations and each night we produce about 100 gigabytes worth of data. Now, 100 gigabytes of data is equivalent of the sort of amount of data you can store on a portable laptop. This data is basically photographs. And now this needs to be transferred um, to the UK for processing. We do this um, by a, a series of um, different steps. So the first step is they do some early processing on the data, which then gets packaged into data tapes that then get shipped physically uh, to Cambridge in the UK. In Cambridge, they run algorithms on this data to actually produce a, a catalogue, a list of all the different positions and the properties of the different objects in this image. These products are then transferred to Edinburgh for storage in the archive. The greatest technical challenges um, from the WIFCAM Science Archive point of view um, is first of all the sheer amount of data and this needs to be databased in such a way that we can both work with the data to produce interesting results from it but also serve the data up to astronomers around the UK, around Europe and eventually around the world um, so that they can actually produce um, science by looking at our data sets. You can't move these large data sets. You can't just download this onto your desktop and run your local programs that you've written or do this. You need to do that at the site. So a lot of it is now just essentially bringing the computing power and the interface to the astronomer, to the researcher, um, such that they can work on this data remotely uh, and yet do the things they need to do to get their research done. The huge amount of data now available to astronomers is only useful if it's searchable and manageable. AstroGrid is the doorway to the virtual observatory and provides users with a suite of desktop applications that enable astronomers to explore resources and data from around the world. AstroGrid's done a lot of work on things like VO space, uh, which is sort of an online storage area that astronomers and researchers can use as a staging area. So when you're running a workflow and then you want to store the results here so that it can be accessed later, um, that's what VO space is. It's this little staging area where so that you can kick off a workflow on your laptop, unplug it from the wall and walk away, and it will still continue running. And then things like registry. Uh, the registry is the phone book. Without it, virtual observatory doesn't really work. Um, people need to be able to find these services, so they need to be able to look things up in the registry and see, oh, there's a new, data, new database that's just been released and it's accessible. So a lot of AstroGrid was just building this sort of computational infrastructure underneath um, to enable the sort of science end. Mark Holliman is a software specialist at the ROE and he has developed a research tool called Paperscope after having a drink with a couple of PhD students who found manually searching papers an arduous and time-consuming task. This way the researcher can pull up a graph on a paper, look at its references, its citations, and see how they all relate to one another very quickly and very easily, as opposed to just scanning a text list, um, which can be quite time-consuming, and it's hard to pick up the sort of the intricacies and the interconnectedness of different papers. It isn't just for astronomers, is the other key thing here. Uh, the idea behind Paperscope, it would be useful for almost any research scientist as a simple tool for just dealing with the sort of day-to-day -day work of working with papers and citation reference chains. In developing the WIFCAM Science Archive, uh, a lot of software is developed and this software is um, all 
stored in a, um, a subversion repository. So lots of people can make contributions to the same body of software um, without producing conflicts and in such a way that we can keep track of all the changes and developments to the software. On top of that, we've also a wiki system uh, which we use to collaborate storing notes and procedures for operating the database and so forth within the group. Um, so it's basically it's very important from the point of view of knowledge exchange. As time goes on we are receiving more and more data per night um, and we have to scale our systems to cope with larger amounts of data. Some of these new um, data products coming out, uh, LSST, PanStars, I mean we're talking petabytes of data, we're talking server rooms full of equipment. So you do have to come up with computational ways and um, essentially making it easier for the end scientist because you can take all the observations you want but if no one's looking at them, no one's analyzing them, you aren't going to get anything out of it. <laughs>